Every day we are hearing of a rising number of COVID-19 cases, no doubt something that is causing a lot of stress and a lot of anxiety during this time. Now, what are some of the mental health challenges facing the country that you've been exposed to? Uh, hi, Unati. Thank you for having me. Okay, firstly, to correct it, I'm not yet a psychologist, but a registered counsellor. So, as a country now, we are faced with so many mental health challenges. And most of them being the anxiety. Everyone now is living with the fear. We are now afraid of being contracted by the COVID-19. We are now afraid of losing our jobs. We are now afraid of losing our loved ones. So anxiety being most the, the, the highest one in the mental health challenges that we are experiencing now. But we also have your depression. We also have insomnia and also uh, the level of, of alcohol abuse has increased currently. Most people are now trying to avoid this anxiety by, by, by using the, the alcohol and substance abuse. And for those people that are using substance abuse, you know, to try and just quieten the noise, quieten the anxiety and soothe themselves, with this alcohol ban now, what does that mean? Where do they go to for a secondary kind of relief? Uh, others end up in violence. Others try to make their homemade alcohol, uh, homemade uh, drugs so that they can be able just to, to to avoid the noise, to not face the reality, to avoid the anxiety that they're currently having. And others even result in violences. This is why now when, when we check the stats of gender-based violence, we find that it's very high because people now are just so frustrated and they, they, they use violence to, to relieve their frustrations. Now, you mentioned a very important point, and that's gender-based violence, which has been described as the other pandemic. Now, tell us about your experience in terms of just some of the people that you've been counselling during this time that have been, you know, um, just confronted by violence of any kind. What are some of the stories on the ground? Uh, if, if, if you look at it now, because now we are restricted from going to work, most people now are at home, they're working at home. We are restricted of going to to restaurant, to park or visit friends. So now those, it's now the time that people are facing the challenges that they're having at home. The challenges that they were not able to, to deal with. They were using the alcohol, they were using a restaurant to scapegoat. Now they're using, they, they don't have that. So now they have to face those challenges. Most, most, most wife, most partners will come and say, my, my husband is now just uh, moody in the house. My husband doesn't talk to us. My husband is just uh, beating us. Like it's just a violence that when you look at it, you, you see that these people had already had their own challenges, but because of someone just using work as a scapegoat, they were not dealing with those challenges. So now it's just, they have nowhere to run to, but to face those challenges. That's why those who have anger issues now become, be, be violent to other people. Now just give us a general sense of how somebody who is battling during this time with depression or anxiety, um, how they can cope particularly because there's a very limiting things to do. Uh, I mean, gyms are also, you know, limited. You can't go to parks anymore. What does one do during this time? What are some of the practical uh, advice you can give us? Well, now is the time for family to just be together and support each other because there's no way one can go and visit their friends. We are restricted on doing that. So it's time for family for for support, F family needs to support each other emotionally, physically, and mentally, and just be there for each other. And remember, we 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 react differently according to, to towards a depression. The way that I react cannot be the way that the other person is reacting. So people need to be patient with their family members. When someone is showing symptoms of 
or signs of depression, they shouldn't now be labeled as weak people. They shouldn't be now labeled as someone who's seeking attention, but just try to be there for a family. And the other good thing about uh, with, with uh, now being restricted is that we are able to have the virtual sessions with our counselors or our therapist. So if you are at home and you feel like you need to talk to someone, you are able to call them and talk to them. So it's it's not the met it's not because that now we are not allowed to walk or visit them, then we are not we cannot be able to talk to them. So you are allowed, you can even talk to your therapist virtual with visual sessions. Dibuo, thank you so much for your time this afternoon. Really appreciate it. Dibuo Maradolo, who is a counsellor, just talking to us about some of the things that you can do during this anxious time of COVID-19.